Hello, you guys. I hope you're all having an amazing day wherever you are. Don't forget to drink your water and stay hydrated. I am super stoked right now because I am currently on the way to do some Halloween shopping. And this year is gonna be a little bit different because I don't have a house, but I am going to be decorating. And I am very excited about what I'm doing. I have a super exciting project that I've been working on and planning. And we have been, when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> I, I, have, like, I have like this team of people that like work with me, but it's just me. I had to get very creative this year because I don't have a house. Um, but I decided on something super fun to do. And I don't wanna tell you just yet because I wanna make sure that I can like actually do it before I get you guys excited about it. So I'm currently, I got all my work done. Like I've been busting butt to just get all of these videos done so that I can just completely dedicate my time to just working on these Halloween projects. I will tell you, okay, we're gonna do a Halloween decorating video. We're gonna do a DIY, cause I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. And I actually looked up one of my old DIY videos on a spell book I did, which is so cool and I don't know where it is. I know, I really don't think I have it anymore. I think with all my moves, it must've been misplaced. Maybe I donated it, I don't even remember. That video had like 80,000 views and that was from like four years ago or something. <laughs> and people, and I was going through the comments and people were like, oh, please do more DIY videos. So I've been working on a DIY, working on a decorating video, working on a Halloween vegan recipe video. I'm also gonna do like scary ghost story video also. So I have all these fun Halloween videos that I am working on and it would be very easy for me just to run to like Target and Michaels and all the places that most people I feel like go to. But because we are trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly, we are going to the thrift store first. So that's gonna be our first stop. And then I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree. And then if for some reason I can't find what I'm looking for at like a few different thrift stores, I don't know, maybe call around to see if any of like my family, my dad has tons of Halloween stuff and I've already talked to him about it. So I'm borrowing some things from my dad. So basically I'm just trying to do like a, <laughs> as you know, eco-friendly as possible. I try, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna probably end up buying some stuff. I know I will be. I just, I wanna make Halloween special, especially now that like Snow's getting a little bit older and she's kind of like able to like really like kind of know what's going on more. I, I just, I wanna make it so special for her and I just freaking am obsessed with Halloween. So, all right, I'm getting ready to park at the very first thrift store. Ah! I'm so excited. I almost forgot my mask. Um, because I haven't been out in a while. We traveled to Colorado, but since I got home, I haven't really been out very much, and I'm just now like better from my cold. Oh my God, there's no freaking parking, of course. Because I didn't want to like go out and shop and stuff like, oh sorry, go ahead. Um, Like having a cold, you know, because I didn't want to like spread it. Especially right now, people are like freaked out about everything, so I definitely didn't want to do that. But now I'm feeling so much better, and I'm not sick anymore. It might sound a little nasally, but I'm definitely not sick, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to shop away. My shopsters, who's ready to go Halloween shopping with Miss Shannon Rose? All right, Ellie's freaking nuts. It's so hard to like find parking, to like get in anywhere. I was just in Colorado, I'm like, oh, it's so much better there. <laughs> um, all right, gotta put my hand to mask on. I should probably take my sunglasses off. I don't really need these inside the store. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, freaking love Halloween and Christmas. All the holidays make me, you know, like so much crazy stuff has been going on in 2020 and still is. Like, I need some excitement in my life, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just, I think it's just freaking crazy with a mask on to like go outside. I still am just like, don't get this whole thing, but do what I do. All right, let's do this. Let the Halloween shopping commence. Okay, so the first place I went to was Goodwill. And I also asked you guys on Instagram story if you prefer me to do a voiceover or just put music when I'm like showing all this stuff. And you guys said a voiceover. 
like 80% of you. So here I am. I feel like I'm not very good at voiceovers, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'll put some music in, but I'm just going to explain to you kind of what's going on in the store right now. So they did have some creepy stuff in here. They didn't have too much Halloween stuff. Uh, only really what I'm showing you guys now, um, but I'm looking for very specific things and they didn't really end up having those specific things, but they did have some creepy masks over here. And then this little Halloween guy was so cute and I was really tempted to buy him, but I really don't have a purpose for him and the things I'm buying like I really want to be purposeful and know that I have a use for them and I'm going to use them over and over so I had to control myself with my spending um but then all of a sudden this like automated message started playing in the goodwill and it was kind of creepy to me and so I'm gonna let you hear what it says I don't know let me know if you guys think this is kind of creepy or not please follow our new one-way aisles this will help to ensure social distancing while you shop as always, please be courteous to your fellow shoppers as well as to our employees. Our fitting rooms and restrooms are closed. We apologize for this inconvenience. If you are feeling sick, coughing, or showing any signs of sickness, we kindly ask that you seek medical advice immediately and stay at home until you are well. You will see our staff cleaning and sanitizing often throughout the day. Our shared goal is to provide the best and safest shopping experience for you today and every day. Following these simple rules will keep us all safe, healthy, and happy. Thank you. I don't know, you guys. Something about that recording, it reminded me of being like at Universal Studios during Halloween time, like on the tram. You know when they like go into like some creepy place and I don't know, it's like infected with zombies and you don't want to get like the virus and so they're like telling you like, if you feel sick, immediately go home and seek medical attention and don't leave your house until you're feeling better. It just sounds so dramatic, you know, and like kind of creepy and scary, like something out of a movie. That's how it made me feel. Anyway, um, I get easily distracted in stores and I started like looking at like creepy dolls because that was kind of Halloween-y. And then I was like, ooh, craft stuff. Ooh, Halloween's, I mean, Christmas stuff. Like, and I was there for a specific purpose. So I uh, kind of getting was kind of getting weird vibes from somebody in the store, um, and I am glad I trusted my intuition because I actually ended up being chased to my car by this person that um, was asking me for money, and I actually didn't have any cash on me. And you can tell that I think she was on drugs; like she had like open scabs that were like kind of bleeding, and I just didn't feel like kind of safe. So I ended up leaving the store and it was kind of scary to be honest. So they made me take my temperature before going into the store, the Goodwill. Like I, I've gone to like Target and like all these different places. I've never had to have my temperature taken before going into like shopping somewhere. So that was interesting. Um, also this area is not very safe. I don't feel safe at all over here. So I'm going to be going to a different area because I got actually chased back to my car. Um, scared the shit out of me. I don't like it. I don't like not feeling safe. All right, let's get out of this area. Let's go to a better one. Okay, so I'm actually at the Dollar Tree now, and that's because it was literally down the street. Not the best area. I didn't have any luck, by the way, at the thrift store. I didn't get anything. They only had a few Halloween things I weren't. I wasn't too excited about. So. We're going to check the Dollar Tree, see if they have anything here, and then I'm going to try to check out another thrift store, and if I don't have any luck there, then I might have to go to like a box store, so cross your fingers for me. Okay, so for me, I feel like the Dollar Store or the Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, any of those places are places you kind of have to be careful in because everything is only a dollar and makes you want to buy a bunch of stuff, but... Unless you're like an amazing interior designer, by the way, that creepy cloth, I got some of that. I would highly recommend it, especially that kind from the dollar store. It just looks expensive and really cool, so would recommend that. Um, I feel like unless you're like an interior designer or something and you can really like make the things look amazing, it ends up just like piling up like a lot of junk. And for me, like I don't want my stuff to be too cluttered. Um, and then, you know, you have to store all of it. So I'm again, trying to be very mindful about like what I'm buying, but I do have to say I did buy a few things in here that I kind of regret buying. And you're like, Shannon, it's only a dollar. Like, why do you care so much? Because I hate being wasteful. Like I'm trying hard. Um, and again, not perfect, but I did buy some things that I just didn't like the way that they came out. They were like these little light things and I don't like the way it turned out. Anyway, they do have a lot of really good stuff, especially if you're on a budget, 
would highly recommend going to your dollar store. They, they really do have a lot of good stuff. You'd be surprised. And like I said, if you're really creative or you're just like good at taking things and putting them together, like I'm not really good at like designing per se. Like my older sister is really good at that. I'm not. Ooh, sorry. That will make you dizzy right there. <laughs> they also had a bunch of Christmas stuff already, which was cool, but I'm like, I want to do Halloween first. <laughs> um, so yeah, they had a lot of this cool stuff. I'm always interested to see like what people make and create with stuff from the Dollar Tree. Like I love watching those videos and I don't know. Do you guys like watching those type of videos? Let me know down in the comments. This was one of my favorite finds and they actually had like a bat skull too. Oh, by the way, the art and craft section of the Dollar Tree here was on fire. I wanted to buy so many of these things, but I didn't because I was trying to stay focused on just Halloween stuff, but they have really great art supplies. So if you're into crafts or DIYs, always check your dollar store first or well, first check the thrift store if you have them, then check the dollar store. And then if you don't find what you're looking for, then I recommend going to like, you know, a craft store like Michael's or something like that or ordering online because you'd be surprised at some of the stuff that you find at the Dollar Tree. It's so much cheaper, you know, like canvases and all these little things that are way more expensive. Now, the quality is probably not as good as if you spend a little bit more. Sorry about those shots. Oh, that makes me dizzy watching. Um, they also had like a ton of toys. I was looking for stuff for snow for her birthdays coming up. I can't speak English for her birthdays coming up. Um, we're doing something really exciting for her birthday. I'm really excited about, but uh, we are also looking for little gifts for her to open. So I was checking out some of those and those little ugly dolls I thought were kind of cool. So I don't know what's going on in this area lately. Uh, we're actually in Redondo Beach, which what used to not... Oh, these are those lights I was telling you about that I just didn't end up liking. But they had like a whole little fall section. They had some really cute stuff in here. Um, so yeah, I don't know what was going on. I'm pretty sure there was some sketchy stuff going on in that store. Again, like I say, it's not a good area, but it's in like, it's not, oh, look at that bat. Oh my gosh, I got, I can't wait to show you guys in the haul video. Um, I show you kind of how I styled some of these things and decorate with them. And I am so excited for you to see them because <laughs> it came out way better than I thought it would. So then I ended up going into like kind of like the hardware section and you would probably not think to look at this area, but I would recommend it, especially if you're doing DIYs or crafts. They actually have some good stuff for really cheap. Obviously, it's only a dollar. So like the little jute stuff, um, paint brushes, they have tape, all kinds of cool stuff for DIY projects, especially if you're doing like DIY Halloween stuff or just like crafts in general. Definitely check out this department of your Dollar Tree because they have some pretty good stuff. So that is my tip for the dollar store. You guys, I scored at the dollar store. The dollar store has some really good stuff. Uh, so I got like two bags full and I will do a little haul with you guys. But next we're gonna go to a thrift store and see what we can find there. Okay, so we ended up going to the Salvation Army and they did not take your temperature when you walk in. I thought maybe all thrift stores it was like a thing, especially like the big ones, but this one, they didn't make you do that. That is a pair of Burton snowboarding boots, by the way, that they had in the display. So I am doing a horrible job of filming right now, and I'm really sorry about that. I don't know, sometimes as much as, I love that sweater. I almost got it, but I was like, no, it's Christmas. We're supposed to be doing Halloween today. So I stopped myself. But I, um, as much as I've been vlogging and for how long, sometimes I still just get like vibes that like I'm going to get in trouble for filming in the store, even though like most of the time they don't care. And I always film like in front of the people like that work there and they never say anything to me. A knock on one, I hope that they don't ever, <laughs> but, um, yeah, then I found onesies and I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm not showing you the ones that I got because I want to surprise you. I got two of them and I'm so excited about them. Travis made me get rid of so many, by the way, I didn't know they sold bras, but they do. So in case you need bras and you're on a budget, um, so this place had a lot of really cool stuff. And again, I get distracted because I'm like, ooh, cool furniture clothes, pajamas. Um, but they literally did not have one Halloween thing at this store. And so that was kind of disappointing, but because I was already there, I was like, okay, well, at least let me just check out and see if I can find anything or use something for, you know, a different purpose. And then Christmas, you know, <laughs> like, why do you have Christmas stuff and not Halloween? It's Halloween first. 
get your holidays together, guys. Um, and then I was, as I was walking in, I found this, you know, um, what are these things called? I don't even know, but they're so popular right now. You know, these little like tiki looking wood things. I don't know. Everybody's got them and they're super expensive. And I found one and I was like, what even is this? Like I, I still maybe don't know what it is, but then I sat it up and I'm like, is this what you put by the door to put like your umbrellas and stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I clearly had no idea what this was, but I know that those things are popular. So check your thrift stores if you can't afford the ones that are super expensive. And then I thought I saw a Smeg toaster and I got so excited, but they were just faking me out. It was just like a black and Decker toaster in there. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I got so excited for a minute. So this is kind of what the Salvation Army looked like and then these little cool jars i always thought it was fun in thrift stores where they take like jewelry and they put a bunch in a vase and then they sell it to you like in bulk i don't know i feel like they're treasures and you open it up and you don't know what's going to be inside and it's kind of cool i bought one a long time ago and it was kind of fun but then i never really wear jewelry so uh then i went into the kids section and i actually found a tipsy elves onesie but it was way too big for snowy and i don't want to store clothes like that far in advance so um, but yeah, they had some good stuff. I'm always pleasantly surprised at some of the things I found. There was like Wild Fox Kids stuff in there. So I don't know. I highly encourage you to check out your local thrift store if you have one. So they had zero Halloween stuff in there. My camera's getting ready to die, but I did get some stuff and I want to show you. Okay, even though my camera's about to die, I think I might have an extra battery <laughs> in my purse. I don't want to give up on Halloween shopping right now because I feel like I, I don't have everything I really need. So I'm going to go to Target. I'm hoping they have Halloween stuff. I am exhausted from being pregnant and also my back is killing me. But I'm going to get a Starbucks in the Target and then we're going to get a little caffeinated and then we're going to do some more Halloween shopping. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Okay, we made it to Target. How cute is this? Welcome home, pumpkin. Thanks, Del. Okay, you guys, I have officially saved the best for last because we are now in Target and I am in seventh heaven. So I first went to the like little dollar section area, although I don't ever see things for a dollar anymore. It's like $3 or $5 now. And they had some fun stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you around in case you haven't got out lately or you don't know what's at someone else's Target. This is what's at mine. <laughs> um... But yeah, I definitely saved the best for last out of all the stores. So if you are still watching at this point, like kudos to you. You deserve some sort of an award. These little boo bags were so cute. My friend Jessica, do you guys remember Folsom Jessica? She was a subscriber of mine and we ended up becoming like best friends. In fact, like all my subscribers that I meet in person, I end up becoming best friends with. Um, anyway, we're still friends. Everyone always asks, are you still friends with Jessica? Yes, we are. And we talk actually all the time. We like text each other even though we live so far. Um, and she's pregnant right now at the same time as me and we're both having boys. So we're very excited about that. Um, okay. So Target was really good. People do not follow like the six foot thing anymore. I think a lot of people just don't care. Um, so yeah, if you see people really close to me, like that person there, um, and that person there, <laughs> they just don't, I just don't think they care. Anyway, this was a bunch of the dollar stuff. I wasn't too excited about what I found in there. I mean, they had like one or two cute things, but that was about it. But wait until you see some of the other stuff. And as the video gets closer to an end, like things just keep getting better and better. <laughs> Literally saved all the, by the way, this I would never get because I always have the best full size candy at my house. I'm very sad that like, we don't know what's going on with trick or treating. Although I heard in Canada, trick or treating, like in certain parts, trick or treating is still on. If you're in Canada, let me know below. These were really cute in the little like three, five dollar section. I liked those. I think it'd be cute if you had like a playroom for your kids or something to like decorate it very like kitty like with all this stuff and all the fun bright colors. Um, yeah, they had a lot of <laughs> too cute to be spooked. Oh my god, so cute. So as soon as I started drinking my Starbucks, by the way, Starbucks is such a treat. I started feeling real good, guys. It was nice and warm. It made me feel cozy. I was in Target. I was literally living my best life. And I just have to say this. Um, I'm going to get a little deep with you right now. I obviously suffer from some mental illnesses. It's no secret. And sometimes uh, something happens to me where I 
like can't help it but to spend a bunch of money and I get like very it's normally around the holiday time um it's almost like an impulsive thing that happens and I I feel like I can't control it <clears throat> now listen I get a lot of satisfaction from shopping it makes me happy like to do this but I also think it has a little bit to do with my like my bipolar disorder so um I know a lot of people especially like trolls and stuff will like say mean comments about oh, I thought you're trying to be zero waste and all these different things um <laughs> but uh I do suffer from a mental illness and I I really truly believe that a lot of like sometimes when I go on these like spending sprees um which aren't very often but when I do it's definitely like my mental illness is kicking in and I also think that um pregnancy has made it a lot worse and I'm gonna do a whole video talking about like my pregnancy and and having mental illness and you know it not being able to be medicated like me not being able to be medicated um for it while I'm pregnant so it's a whole thing but just be kind in the comments you guys be kind to other people like you never know really what they're going through and people are very like judgy these days and um it's just not nice <laughs> so uh I am I, this made me very happy and I, I did go a little crazy in Target but um you know, I just like, I just want to live my best Halloween life, you guys. Um, so I actually ended up buying this dress, uh, but it did not look good on me. So I'm going to end up returning it. I, I, ha I got a similar dress, a yellow one that if you look on my Instagram, I posted pictures like with the family in this like really cool, pretty like mustard yellow dress. I like <laughs> shoes off witches. I think that's so funny. Um, and I really like that one. I got it on Amazon and I got a lot of compliments on it and it feels just comfortable. It's very flattering. I found a bunch of these blankets and I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I put so many in my cart and then took another one out and like I was just like so indecisive. I, I couldn't decide and then I found these like crushed velvet ones and I was like, ooh, this is way cooler. So you'll see me putting a bunch of different ones in the car. I didn't get all of them. In fact, I didn't end up getting any of those. I took them out because I realized... I had something similar, so I was trying to be to good, good about it. Okay, this is when things get really exciting. This is when I, my caffeine was kicking in, and I just like my heart started racing a little bit because I'm like, ah, Halloween! I'm so excited for you. Get in my cart. <laughs> like I wanted to buy everything, um, but again, I do have to say, even though I went a little crazy, I did buy things with a purpose in mind, and these were things that I needed and wanted and for the project. So it makes me feel a little bit better, <laughs> but they did have so much fun stuff at, um, Target. So if you are looking for Halloween stuff, I would highly recommend going there. Um, it, they just have such a great selection and they have so, so much to choose from. So I really loved it. I'm sure you guys are getting totally sick of me talking. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of music for you, but, um, I hope you guys enjoy some of the fun Halloween decor and what I ended up getting at Target. By the way, I'm going to be doing a whole haul, but because this video is like going to be super long, um, I'm going to end up doing a separate video. So the next video that goes up will be a haul of everything that I ended up getting. And I got some really sweet stuff that you don't see in the video. So definitely um, check that video out. My mom comes and sits down with me in the video and it's, it's really fun. It's like a hangout haul session. So Stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, I'll stop talking your ear off and we will place them. Oh my God, these were so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Those were so cute. They also, well, I'm just going to let you watch.
Just gonna put it in there. So once I got into the Halloween section with all the food and the baking supplies, I started to get really excited. This little skull mini waffle maker, I most definitely would have purchased if I had a house right now because I think it'd be so cute to make those for snow uh, during Halloween time. And just everything Halloween is out already. Like look at everything is themed for Halloween. It makes me so excited. I wish majority of this stuff was vegan because... I probably would buy it and pass it out for Halloween time. Although I ended up getting full size airheads that if for some reason we do have any trick or treaters like at my mom's house or my dad's house, I'll probably be at my dad's house for Halloween and that's normally where I go. But because he always decorates for Halloween so fun and he has ever since we were little, like when we were little, my dad used to be in the newspaper. Um, like they would come and take pictures of the front of the house to put in the newspaper. Like that's how amazing his house looked. And I think I have that gene from him you know like wanting to like go crazy and decorate um so I'd always go to his house because he still decorates for Halloween and these are the airheads I ended up getting so like I said if we end up getting trick-or-treaters I don't even know if it's allowed but who knows the rules might change by then or maybe there'll be some brave people that do <laughs> come trick-or-treating I want to have some good full-size candy bars for them and airheads are vegan this popcorn is not vegan by the way but I did end up purchasing it now this is something I do not do often because uh, I don't feel very good about it, but my mom and my dad are obsessed with this popcorn. <laughs> and I saw, normally they only have it during Christmas time, 
And I remember being little and they would always have it every year for Christmas. But now they have it for Halloween. So it's kind of nostalgic and I kind of had to get it for them. Uh, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And I'm glad I did because when my mom got home, she's like, is that the popcorn? And I was like, yes. And in the hall, she eats it with me. So um, it, it was fun. You'll, you'll see when um, that video comes out. But they just had so many fun Halloween things. It made me just so happy. By the way, this damn mac and cheese is so good and I've been craving it like during pregnancy um, recently. I haven't really craved too many things, but I have been craving mac and cheese. Also ended up getting some protein bars because I have to have like a certain amount of protein and um, sometimes it's hard to get it all in. So I got those just because it's easy and it's easy snack, especially if you're busy and on the go. Also got an infrared thermometer just because I feel like it's so much easier. Like if I need to take so's temperature or ours, you know, you just stick it against the forehead. I also ended up getting this curling iron because the one I have, I'm actually don't even have a curling iron. We're using a flat iron to curl my hair. So I heard that one was really cute or not cute, but a good one. And then I found all these cute little shirts and clothes. I didn't end up getting it because it's too big for snow, but I wanted to show you guys in case you guys have kids that are older. Like they had really cute little options for Halloween time at Target. Our lines at Target are always insane. So in just a second here, you'll see the line. And it was funny because I like went out of line for two seconds and the girl in front of me totally cut me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? So I officially just spent close to $500 at Target. Props is definitely gonna kill me. Ugh, I can't help myself, you guys. I have a serious problem. Oh my God, I'm so scared of getting stuck in elevators. I hate being in here by myself. Whoa. We did it. Mission accomplished. So happy right now. Right, you guys <laughs> we went into this thinking we we're gonna be eco-friendly and save lots of money I spent a lot of money Travel's not gonna be very happy but if for some reason we don't use all the stuff obviously I'll just return it um, but I am ready to crash I have shopped till I dropped and I still want to go to like um, home goods and there's still places <laughs> I want to go but I can't do any more today. But when we get home, I'm gonna do a whole haul of everything that I ended up getting. So if you wanna see everything I got, keep watching. 